हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ऑनलाइन लेक्चर्स ऑफ मुंबई इंटरनेशनल स्कूल एंड जूनियर कॉलेज दिस लेक्चर इज फॉर क्लास फोर सब्जेक्ट ई वी एस वन लेसन द वैल्यू ऑफ फूड लेट्स बिगिन द वैल्यू ऑफ फूड चिल्ड्रेन टुडे वी विल अंडरस्टैंड हाउ डू वी गेट फूड द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ फूड and why should we not waste food Arjun and Varsha are brother and sister they love to eat hot bajra bhakris with butter Bajra bhakri is a roti or chapati made from bajra millet flour Arjun and Varsha's mother makes some more dishes for them to eat with bhakris and they like those dishes also What could be those dishes that mother makes to go with bhakris? It could be different vegetables, curries, chutneys, etc. But what are these dishes made from? These dishes are made from different vegetables, spices, pulses, dal, etc. In Varsha and Arjun's home they use a lot of other food stuffs too from where do we get these food stuffs for example wheat rice jowar pulses sugar cane children all these grow in the farm by the farmers they are grown cut packed and sold karwanda jamun bor honey children we get all these mainly from the forest there are people who go to the forest and gather all these and then sell them there are also people who grow them in their garden or farm we get salt water fish from sea fishermen work hard to catch them we also get salt from sea When the salty sea water is dried up what we get is salt it is then processed in the factories and then sold in the market we get fresh water fish from fresh water of lakes and ponds fishermen work hard here too singaras water chestnuts and makhanas lotus seeds are not very common we get them from fresh water plants too much hard work has to be done to collect clean dry store and transport them we get fruits and vegetables from trees and plants some people have orchards for growing fruit crops these are like fruit gardens while Some people have vegetable farm. We get meat from various animals like goat, fish, hen, etc. We get eggs from duck and hen. Many a times when giving food to Varsha and Arjun, mother would say, "Take only as much as you want. Food should not be wasted." One day Arjun asked mother why do you tell this to us every day Mother answered why should we waste any good thing Besides in fact we must give a thought to how we get the food we eat We must think about how we get the food we eat Mother said let me tell you a story of a bhakri The story of a bhakri Mother starts to tell the story of a bhakri You know dada my father is a farmer and you know that schools have summer vacations Mother said her father is a farmer and during her summer vacations when she was little she used to go to her father's field riding on his tractor That would be the time to make the fields 
ready to grow crops. Mother said her father would attach different implements to the tractor to carry out different farming tasks. First he would plow the fields. Children, this is plowing. Plowing means to dig and turn up the fresh soil. Next step was to crush the lumps of soil to loosen the soil just as you can see. And the final step was to level the field to make the field flat at one level so that it becomes ready for sowing. Children, sowing means to plant a seed. The pre-monsoon rains, the rains between March to May makes the hot soil humid. The pre-monsoon rains makes the hot soil little moist, little wet. That was the time when father would sow bajra. Within some days, the bajra sprouts. The bajra begins to grow. And the seedlings, meaning small tiny plants, are seen above the ground. Along with bajra, weeds, meaning other unwanted plants, would also flourish, would also grow. But weeds have to be removed. So, the mother's father would employ laborers, put other men at work to remove the weeds. These workers, laborers, had to be paid money for removing the weed. Rainwater is enough for bajra to grow vigorously, meaning to grow tall very quickly. After a while, Ears of Bajra, as you can see, start to appear on every stalk, every stem. The grains form on the ears grow fuller. The grains grow completely and cover the full ear of the crop. As the grains grow, birds come in flocks, in groups, to eat the tender, soft grains. To protect the grains from birds, then the scarecrows have to be set up and slingshots are used to frighten the birds away to keep the birds away. When the ears of corn are full, it is harvest time. When the crops are completely grown, it is time to gather the crops. That is, all the ears of bajra must be cut and gathered. Then follows threshing and winnowing. That is how we get grains from the ears of Bajra. The kids were a little confused. Varsha said, I understood cutting and harvesting, but what is threshing and winnowing? Mother said, All right. Do what I tell you and you will see, you will understand. Mother said she will continue the story later, afterwards. Mother asked Arjun to take a basket of dried groundnut pods. Then she told him, divide the groundnut pods into two portions. For the first portion, Mother told Arjun to shell the groundnut pods, that is, to remove the groundnuts from the pods. And for the second portion, she told him to put the pods into the cotton bag. Then tie the mouth and pound the bag, meaning beat the bag with a stick or stone. The result was that many groundnut pods have burst open cracked open and groundnuts have come out. Mother said, this is called threshing of pods. In the similar way, the threshing of crops is done after harvest. Now mother asked Varsha 
to take a tray and put these brown nuts in tray. She told her to hold it with both hands and toss them quickly and lightly in air. What happens when Varsha tosses the tray? The empty shells fall off and the nuts are left behind. But how does this happen? Mother explains that the shells are light in weight so they get blown away by the air and fall off. The nuts are heavier and so they are left behind. This is similar to winnowing. In winnowing also, the draught blow of air is used to separate the grain from the chaff. Children, chaff is the shell of the grain. Mother gets back to the story again. She said, Dada uses a machine for threshing and winnowing. Children, threshing and winnowing can be done by the laborers as well as by the machine. But in any case, money has to be put to get the work done. For machine, the harvested ears of the crops are put in the machine. The grains get separated and fall into a bag tied to the machine and the waste, the chaff, gets blown away. When there are no machines, bullocks do the threshing. A round space is cleared in the field and threshing floor is prepared. A post is erected at the center. A bamboo or a stick is placed in a standing position. Then, bullocks are tied to it. The harvested ears are spread in the round threshing space. The bullocks walk in circles around the post so that the harvested ears get trampled, get crushed upon by the bullocks. If the crop is large in quantity, bigger place is prepared and more bullocks are used together. Threshing may go on for many days. This is a heavy work for bullocks too. The first step after harvest is threshing and then comes winnowing. Winnowing helps in removing the chaff. The grain obtained after winnowing is filled in sacks and are protected well from insects, worms, cockroaches or other pests such as mice or rats. Some grain is kept aside for the family and the rest is sent to the market. When traders, wholesalers buy the grain in the market, the farmer gets the money. But this is not the end of the story. The bhakri is not ready yet. The traders are the first person who buys the grain. Now, these grains are sold and sent all over the country. It is then transported, sent to other places by trucks and trains. The drivers, the laborers, the potters to work hard. Transportation also takes a lot of money. Now the grains reach the provision stores. People go and buy them from stores. Then they sort out any stones or rubbish to clean the grains. And then they get it milled into the flour. How do we prepare bhakri? First, the floor is kneaded into a dough. Then, the dough is flattened into a round bhakri. And then, it is roasted. To roast the bhakri, we burn fuel or gas or wood. And this is how Arjun and Varsha get their bhakri. So children tell me, would it be right to waste food we get through the efforts of so many people? No, it is not good to waste food. Children, all these people put in a lot of hard work in their own occupation 
in their job like farming storing transporting marketing etc even preparing the food stuffs takes a lot of effort all these processes are expensive so much money is spent to get all the work done so it is necessary for all of us to take care that food is not wasted we must value our food